a couple years ago, um, you took a drug uh, called Desantinib, which was approved by the uh, Food and Drug Administration for treatment of leukemia. Right. And you did a fishing exercise uh, uh, in lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And you found some interesting things. And probably more importantly, it's led to some advances in the clinic. You want to tell us about uh, that experience? Yes, yeah, so that was actually very interesting for us as well, because when you start with this sort of uh, uh, project, you don't mm -hmm. really know what you're going to get out mm -hmm, of it. Mm -hmm. So we saw actually a, a large number, like 40 different uh, proteins to uh, directly uh, bind to our drug. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so then the, the question was, which one is actually <coughs> important for, um, for the drug being able to kill this cancer cell? Mm -hmm. And so that was a difficult exercise. Mm -hmm. Um, but in the end, uh, in a larger collaboration, mm -hmm. we figured out uh, which ones are responsible for that. And uh, it turned out that one of the other proteins that were important was not very strongly engaged mm -hmm. by this mm -hmm. drug. Mm -hmm. So then we were able to uh, take a different drug that was known to uh, interact with that other protein much stronger mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and put the two drugs together and that was actually then uh, a lot more potent and mm -hmm. uh, had a lot more benefit mm -hmm. for treating. So, so what your approach can do is it can really tell us uh, about cocktail therapy for cancer too. Exactly. Right? And, the, and the, I think the important thing is that uh, three clinical trials being run here at Moffitt came from that work, correct? Yes, at uh -huh. least in part. Yeah, uh, okay. So I think the, the basic understanding then was implemented very quickly mm -hmm. actually um, in order to uh, design a, a combination drug mm -hmm. approach mm -hmm. uh, to really uh, target ca uh, lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And so uh, some of these clinical trials then actually identified some patients that were responding very well to this combination. Mm -hmm. And in fact, as a, a added bonus on that, uh, uh, they also discovered um, some uh, driver mutations that weren't known before, mm -hmm. uh, a genetic mutation mm -hmm. um, that now can be used as a biomarker mm -hmm. in order to identify patients mm -hmm. that really benefit from this drug.